uh, I was going to talk about the material on this page. It's an introduction to antiderivatives and integration. Um, in particular, it's the power rule that's being talked about right here. This is the uh, power rule for antiderivatives. So, for example, um, the student would have already have the had done the power rule for derivatives. So, like, um, they would have done examples like this. Um, or the derivative of a power function uh, to, to evaluate the derivative, bring the n down and um, multiply that by the ax and then reduce the power by 1. So like for example <laughs> 2x to the 3 the derivative of this with respect to x is equal to 3 times 2 um, x raised to the 2 or 6 x squared. So that's the derivative of 2 x to the 3. Um, when we go in this direction it's called differentiation. <laughs> and when we go in this direction it's called antiderivative. So um, we can see that the antiderivative of 6x squared is 2x to the 3 because we just differentiated 2x to the 3 to get 6x squared. But we might need a way to notate um, the antiderivative. So a way that we can notate it is using this capital S, which is the integral symbol. And the integral, this is red, the integral of f of x dx is equal to capital F of x plus some constant where the derivative with respect to x of capital F of x equals lowercase f of x. And uh, this C is tacked on because technically if I take the derivative of capital F of X plus C, I also get lowercase f of X. So this is a family of functions that has been increased by a scalar C. But that scalar C is sort of just a trivia triviality. And a lot of times the, the constant will cancel out um, when you evaluate the integral. Um, so... Let's go to another slide. So um, let's do our example. So to notate our example, we wanted to find the, the uh, antiderivative of 6x squared. So we would denote that like so, the integral of 6x squared dx. And the slide that's been given on the first page, the book says that the uh, the power rule for antiderivatives is the integral of ax to the n dx equals ax to the n plus 1, all divided by n plus 1. And then there's that c tacked on again. So following this rule that's been given on the first page, uh, the a is 6, the n is 2, so we write 6 x to the 2 plus 1 all over 2 plus 1 and um, that's 6 over 3 which is 2 x to the 3 uh, and then there's a there's always a c tacked on as well but it's sort of just a trivial triviality um, so 
now we've learned how to notate the antiderivative, um, and we can take the integral of any power function using this rule. Um, so, real quick, we'll also talk about the what's called the definite integral. The definite integral is the application, and this is the fundamental theorem of calculus. And it just says that the definite integral over a b of f of x dx is equal to capital F of b minus capital F of a. Um, again, where the derivative with respect to x of f capital F of x equals lowercase f of x. So, in our example earlier, um, we could differentiate from 1 to 2 of 6x squared dx. And we already know that the antiderivative, if this is our lowercase f, then our antiderivative, because uh, we've done it in the indefinite case, we know that it's 2x to the 3 plus c. So following the uh, theorem on the previous page, um, we would want to look at capital F of 2 minus capital F of 1 to evaluate this integral, this definite integral. So this is our capital F function right here. So we'll plug in 2, we'll plug in 1, and take the difference. So it's 2 to the 1 to the 3 minus 2 times 1 to the 3. Sorry, <laughs> there's a 2 right there. So um, this, so it's uh, 16 minus 2, uh, which is 14. Sorry, I ran out of room. So 14 is the, um, the answer for this example. And um, here, the constants that were... I didn't really include them because they would have canceled out anyways um, when you do the subtraction. This c minus this whole term, f of 1 plus c, would have been c minus c. So the, the constants always cancel out in the uh, definite integral case. Um, and the context here, the context here is that the um, if we graph 6x squared and we looked at 1 to 4, sorry, 1 to 2, <laughs> 1 to 2, um, the integral is the area, the definite integral from 1 to 2, uh, which was 14, is the area under the curve from 1 to 2. So that's the application. There's lots of applications for the definite integral. Um, so yeah, that's basically the antiderivative of the power function and the power function rule. And um, so, let's see. Um, also on this on this page, they talked about um, they talked about down here. They've they've mentioned the. Uh, algebraic properties. Do algebraic properties. Um, and those two algebraic properties, those two algebraic properties are that you can integrate a function which is defined as the sum or difference of two functions. If you're trying to find this integral, um, you can actually distribute. You can think of it as like distribution. And you can integrate the first function and integrate the second function and then add the results or subtract the results. Um, and you'll get the exact same thing as if you had taken the integral of the sum. So this is equal to that. 
And then the other property that was mentioned was um, that you can factor out a constant. So if you have a constant being multiplied on a function inside the integral, you can bring the constant out front because the constant is not dependent upon x. And um, you can in fact pull out any variable that isn't dependent on x out front. So these two things are the same as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically the material that's covered on the, uh, the page here on the first slide.